Hey, what's going on, guys? Kathy here. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting in my van again. Did you miss this uh, backdrop? I was coming outside to film the intro and outro to this video, but uh, it seems to be very windy and pretty much impossible to get a good, any good sound. So I'm in my van. <laughs> Back to the you know tried and true. So it is Sunday morning. I just got finished my workout for the day. Not for the day. My first workout of the day. And um, I just wanted to shoot the intro to this video, which is my what I ate in a day. So what I this is what I ate on Friday. Um, and honestly, it's what I eat most days. The only thing that really differs is the supper. I eat the same breakfast and lunch pretty much every day. Yeah, I'm a creature of habit. What can I say? And yeah, I like it. Maybe, hopefully you will. <laughs> I'll leave the recipe to the uh, the breakfast in the um, description. And if there's anything else you thought that piqued your interest, you could leave me a comment. And yeah, it's nothing too fancy. It doesn't look great, but it's good. It fills me up. And uh, yeah, I like it. So I hope you do too. So without further ado, here's what I ate in a day on Friday, April 17th. Hey guys, so this is what I ate um, actually yesterday on Friday, April 17th. This is what I ate and this breakfast is basically what I eat every day for breakfast. So here it goes. I call it a breakfast chia pudding. I don't really know if there's a proper name for it, but that's what I call it. And basically it consists of all the ingredients you see there. So I just a cup of soy milk, a tablespoon of protein powder, one and a half tablespoons of chia. I whisk those together in a bowl and then I add one cup of assorted frozen fruit and then I put it in the fridge for at least an hour for the the chia to kind of congeal and also for the frozen fruit to melt a little bit. And then when I'm ready to eat, I pull it out of the fridge and I add one. I add either a half or one banana, depending on how big it is. I added that whole banana um, yesterday. And I add about a tablespoon of coconut and a tablespoon of uh, pumpkin seeds. But this is a pretty, it's a pretty good breakfast. But this is a pretty good breakfast. It, um... Uh, it's pretty uh, customizable, I guess is the right word. You can add whatever fruit you have. If you have fresh fruit, I would add it after the after the refrigeration. Just put the chia just put the chia and the protein powder in in the fridge to congeal. Then add your fresh fruit afterwards. Um, but yeah, you can add, put use it with whatever fruit you have on hand. It's really awesome. Add any toppings you want. And if you don't have protein powder, that's no problem. You just don't have to add it. It doesn't really, it doesn't affect the thickening of it or anything like that. It's just a pretty delicious uh, breakfast that I have basically every single day. Uh, the reason why I like it so much is because it's really filling. Um, and it's kind of oatmeal-esque. It's not, it's not oatmeal, obviously, but I... Uh, it fills me up like oatmeal, but oatmeal tends to kind of make me feel really heavy and... I don't like the feeling of it all the time, so I usually choose chia. It's a nice, it's, you know, it's, it's just, yeah, it doesn't make me feel, it makes me, it, sorry, if I could speak, it would be lovely. I feel full without feeling heavy with this meal. And next I have coffee. Of course, with my breakfast, I have coffee. I drink this whole French press myself. It's about two big Hogwarts cups of coffee. Sorry, it's about two big Hogwarts cup of coffee. <laughs> That's my Hogwarts cup there. And I add some soy milk and cinnamon. I don't add sugar. I just like it with a little bit of milk. And here is an up close and personal cup of coffee. That's my Hogwarts cup that I got myself for Christmas and I love it, it's huge.
And after breakfast, after a couple of hours, a few hours, I go for a walk. So that's just me and my dog. That was yesterday out on our run. Yeah, I either go for a run or a hike. I don't know why I said walk. I really just walk. It's usually a hike with weights on, in my backpack or a run. Yesterday was a run. Not just a picture of us um, on, the, on our run. Just taking a little break. So yeah, that's my dog Ollie. He's awesome. He comes with me every day. He's a really lucky dog and gets usually multiple walks uh, every single day. So he, that's why he looks so happy there. He's a happy little happy dog. And he's probably the best running partner that I've had. <laughs> so there you go. All right, now moving on to lunch. Now lunch is kind of a concoction that I have made up and have honed in on over the last couple of months. And it's just a rice cake, a loaded rice cake, I guess. So I start with four rice cakes. Then I spread hummus on it, on each of them. And then I throw some mustard on each of them. Then I slice two slices of tofu per rice cake of smoked tofu. And then I add um, a couple of pickles each and some hot peppers on each of them. And then I add, uh, I just cut those cherry tomatoes in half and throw them on each of the rice cakes. And then the end result is this delightful looking plate. <laughs> it doesn't look great, but it's really good. I like using rice cakes because again, it doesn't, they don't make me feel heavy. Uh, I don't you eat a lot of bread or processed bread because it just gives me a, a heavy feeling. I can just feel it sitting in my stomach for a long time and I do not like that feeling. So I choose to eat rice cakes and the only, and they are only 35 calories each. So that's pretty low calorie. It's a pretty filling meal. Uh, it's messy though. <laughs> my son likes to watch me eat those meals so he can laugh at me uh, when I drop them all over my plate or the table or what have you because they will inevitably fall apart. But it's really good. Uh, looks weird. I call it the like the quintessential vegan meal or plant-based meal because it's like rice cakes and tofu and looks pretty vegan to me but it is tasty. And with that, of course, I have coffee. So that's my third cup of coffee um, today. So in that is just coffee and soy milk. I didn't add any cinnamon to that one, just plain old coffee. And that is the last cup, cup of coffee I had yesterday, but some days I have two in the afternoon. Just yesterday, I just had one. And for a snack between lunch and supper, I had an apple. I believe that is an ambrosia apple. They're really good. Uh, those are nice small, I like the smaller apples. And yeah, they're nice and crispy and juicy and sweet. So ambrosias are my new favorite apple. I used to really like Macintosh, but sorry Mac, your time is over. Now it's ambrosia's time to shine here. So that's what I had for a snack. And moving on to dinner. This is a very unappetizing looking supper. I know that. <laughs> okay. I don't have this all the time. In fact, I, this is probably one of my most like an infrequent supper that I have. Um, it, it was a Friday night supper. Okay. So just that it is what it is. I didn't feel like cooking vegetables or anything. That's why I just had carrot sticks and hummus. Um, I cut up some fries. So I did cook that. And all I did was cut up some potatoes um added some salt some onion powder garlic powder and some of the no salt seasoning just an all-purpose seasoning and then those delicious looking cubes or <laughs> rectangles there are just tofu bites the called baked tofu nuggets and they're actually left over from thursday night's dinner so those are leftovers that's why there's only four. Normally I would eat more than those, more than that, but that's all that was left. And those are just tofu, squares of tofu that have been pressed. So the moisture, most of the moisture is out of them and cut up into cubes. And then uh, with some soy sauce thrown on them while I made up the breading, which was just cornmeal, I think, rice flour 
and then some like garlic and smoked paprika and a few other spices Italian spice or herbs rather and then you just bread the tofu and bake them for about 40 minutes and you have those tofu bites now they're nothing to write home about they're not my favorite meal but I, they're kind of nice for if you feel like something a little junky like if you feel like a nugget and you feel like like uh, maybe something a little unhealthy but don't actually want to be unhealthy they're a good substitute I made them because on Thursday night everyone was having actual chicken nuggets and I don't eat chicken so I made those to kind of just have what everyone else was having and they're good for every now and then but they're definitely not a regular in my diet um, but yeah then after that plate I had a few more carrots and hummus and that was about all I had for supper and throughout the day I drank sparkling water uh, I drank about a liter and a half that's a liter bottle there I drank that plus about another half a bottle um, I just started drinking sparkling water not too long ago because I was really sick of just plain water it was really hard to drink water especially through the winter I find it so hard to drink get my water in which I know a liter and a half is still not a lot of water it's not enough but it's better than what I was having so yeah I drank that that's just it's just like carbonated water and natural lemon flavor or whatever it's not it's not sweetened it's basically like tonic water with lemon flavor it's good it's a change um i don't know hopefully in the summer time when it's months are warmer drinking water will not be such a big hassle that it seems to be now but for now i'm drinking sparkling water so that is what i ate yesterday friday april 17th i hope you guys liked it Right, right, I'm back again. I hope you liked that video. Um, again, I'm not a registered dietitian or anything like that. So take that advice or take what I ate just as an idea, not as a how to eat because by all means it's not perfect and, uh, you know, you eat how it suits you. So that, this is what suits me currently. And yeah, I hope you liked it and leave any comments, questions down below. And as always, stay positive, work hard and wash your hands.